Hey football fans and concept fans, welcome to the video. If you're new, my name is Neil, and today we're gonna to look at a very interesting series that was sent to me. It's NFL helmet concepts that have had the colors swapped to be the team's rival colors. So in you know, in my instance, my favorite team is the Minnesota Vikings. I'll just say this now, I'm not a massive football fan. I don't watch a lot of NFL games. If I do, you know, I'm trying to catch my catch my Vikings, uh, their, their games, even though they're, if they're good or if they're bad, it doesn't really matter. Those are the games I typically try and watch. So I'm going to assume, based on the description of the series, that we're probably gonna see uh, a Vikings helmet at some point throughout this video. Colorized, not in the yellow, not in the purple, but likely in I'm gonna, probably the Packers. I mean, I think that's maybe the maybe their biggest rival. So we're gonna see some some green in there. It's gonna be very strange, and I'm gonna kind of answer the question as we go through this: Does this work for the team, or does does this not work? So I think it'll be a pretty fun fun process. And obviously, at the end of the video, you can tell me down below in the comment section which one you like the most, which one you didn't like. The designer for today's video is Tech Matt. He is the one who has sent in these designs. There are. 32, of course, 32 teams, and I'm pretty excited to get into these, but there is a more exciting thing happening, and that's a 50% off Black Friday sale at sportstemplates.net. The exact template that you are gonna see in this video is currently on sale for 50% off up until the end of November. And not only this template, but actually every template on the site, everything is 50% off on sportstemplates.net. They have 70 plus templates, not just football related, hockey, basketball, baseball, soccer, the list really does go on. And these are the highest quality templates in the business. So if you're serious about designing, even if you're new to designing concepts and you wanna get into it, this is a wonderful time to pick up some amazing templates over at sportstemplates.net. Please go over and check it out if you've got a couple of minutes. And this is the best time of year to get these templates because sportstemplates.net only really does a sale around Black Friday. So this is kind of a once in a year thing. This is the biggest sale that they've ever done. Uh, two years ago, I think it was 30% off. Last year, it was 40% off. This is the first time they've ever done 50% off. So prices literally have not been better. So if you've got a couple of moments, go over to sportstemplates.net, have a browse, get some templates, come up with some designs and send them in. Uh, details on how to do that are down below in the description. I would love to see your work, your full set from whatever league, from whatever template, from you know whatever you wanna do, uh, please send in your work, would love to see it. Let's jump into these. Let's react to these helmets. Uh, and I forgot to mention that earlier. This is a reaction video of not seeing these. Let's go. First team is going to be, uh, I saw the colors, I saw the logo, and my brain just couldn't pick the team. Down below it says <laughs> Cardinals there. Uh, wow, okay, so this is <laughs> this is definitely different. This is gonna be a fun video. Um, it, it does work though. Like, <laughs> when I see that bird on there, and I see it in blue, I think Blue Jays. I'm Canadian, I'm aware of the Toronto Blue Jays, my favorite baseball team. So I just kind of like naturally, okay, Blue Jay, Oh wait, that's not a Blue Jay, that's a Cardinal. And I kind of hate to say this, but <laughs> it does work for me. I actually really like this one. Good start on this one. Next is the Falcons. Okay, this one is definitely a little bit strange. So the influence here, or the, I guess, rival is the Saints. And the logo, I think color I like that looks really good. Uh, the helmet's are very generic. There's not really much to say about the helmet, but uh, from a branding perspective, I would probably be okay with this. I think I like the, I think I like the Falcons colors a little bit more. Next team is the Ravens. Oh, <laughs> with the Steelers influence here. Oh, this is uh, this is definitely strange. I'm used to seeing the purple with the Ravens, uh, but it doesn't look bad. Like it really doesn't look that bad at all. It, uh, you know, seeing it in the yellow and seeing the B kind of in there in the logo, I, I just see Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins have the exact same colors. They do use B, uh, some B like letters and stuff in their jerseys and in their uh, graphical assets and stuff. So I, I I almost immediately saw Boston Bruins, but obviously this is NFL, not NHL. But yeah, this works for me as well. Uh, I don't know about the red and blue strap along the bottom, but yeah, let's go. The Bills, oh my, okay, this is weird. You see, the Dolphins have such a specific color combination in their brand that I don't know if it works on any other team. So I'm gonna say actually this one doesn't work for me. Plus the Bills are such an iconic team and they're, you know, they're blue and they're red are just such a, a well-known brand. So to see any kind of different colorization with the Bills is just odd. And especially when it comes to the Dolphins color. So I think this is maybe my first miss here. I don't think this one works. Next is the Panthers. Oh, this is very strange. Buccaneers colors. Uh, no, I don't think this one works actually either. The Panthers have beautiful colors and I think this would be a downgrade in my opinion. Next up, the Bears. Oh, very strange Packers colors. Not too bad. Uh, I mean, the Bears do are very recognizable and stuff, but the Packers, uh, 
I don't know. I can't decide on this one. I'm, I'm kind of conflicted the more I look at it. I had to pause and just look at this for a second. I'm very conflicted on this one. I don't know if this works or not. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Next is the Bengals. And okay, this one kind of works because of there's still, still orange in there. So we could probably accept this one, but the brown is definitely odd. But I think overall, because there's orange still in there, we'll say that this one does work. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Next is the browns. Okay, with Bengals colors, I mean, the browns don't really have a brand in general, so I don't really have much to say about this helmet. It looks uh, relatively the same. Next is the okay, Cowboys with the Eagles colors. This is odd. The Cowboys, again, another one of those iconic brands that's known, even if you're not a football fan, you know who the Dallas Cowboys are. So to see these colors with that is a definitely a little bit odd. Uh, it still works, but I prefer the original colors of the Cowboys. All right, what do we get next? It's the Broncos with the Raiders colors. Oh, okay. This is this is odd. There's no orange, but it actually looks kind of okay. It looks like an, you know, there's, you can buy a Mustang and you can buy a Mustang that's silver and you can buy a Mustang that's black. And right now I just kind of see like, a Mustang, Ford Mustang branded kind of helmet a little bit. Obviously the logo's not the same and it's a little bit uh, different, but actually I think this one kind of works for me. And they could do also a P51 Mustang too, because uh, a lot of their uh, design styles use that really like reflective sheet metal kind of look, the AeroStream kind of look. So uh, this kind of works for a Ford Mustang and a P51 Mustang. Next, the Lions, ugh, this is, this is odd. Yeah. I. Seeing Detroit Lions colors like, or, you know, these colors with that brand is just, it doesn't look bad. Like, that's the thing. A lot of these don't look bad. They just don't look right. It's just such a, it really messes with your mind. This one looks okay. I think I like the Lions original colors better. Next is the Packers. Okay, <laughs> this is strange. This one is strange. There's no way that this one works. The Packers just need to have the original Packers colors. It's what they're known for. They should never change their historic brand. This one does not work for me. Next up, the Texans. Oh, this one, this one works. Because there's blue in the in the Texas state flag uh, and there's white in the Texas state flag, this is totally fine with me. I have absolutely no objections whatsoever with this one. This one looks um, proper even. I would be okay with this one. Next, we got the Colts with the Titans colors. Uh, well, the Colts already use blue. So this isn't too, too far off. Uh, colorized like that with the red and the light blue is definitely odd, but I think it doesn't look too, it doesn't look bad at all. It really doesn't look bad. Uh, I think the original colors are probably my preference though. Next is the Jaguars, also colorized in the Titans colors. This is a really cool interpretation of the brand because it totally changes the, the logo, like completely changes the logo. There's no green in there. It, it does look good. I kind of like the red influence or that much red influence in the, in that logo. Kind of, I'm kind of mad that I'm getting behind this one, but I could kind of, I could kind of see this working. Okay. And the next of the chiefs with the Raiders colors. This one is a little bit strange for me. The chiefs are one of those really, really vibrant uh, teams, really vibrant brands. So this one is likely going to be a miss for me. Next is the chargers with the chiefs colors. Uh, definitely opposite, but still not that bad, actually. Uh, I don't mind this one uh, at all. Next is the Rams with the 49ers colors. You know what? It's it's completely opposite, but again, I kind of don't mind this one. It actually works a little bit just because the colorization of the Ram horn is kind of similar to what the, how they're colorized in real life, whether it's white or beige or a little bit dirty or and stuff. You know, that's it, it kind of works. It kind of works. Next is the Raiders with the Broncos colors. Uh, this is very strange. Raiders, again, another one of those teams that have very iconic, very subtle, uh, not in your face colors. They're just very like stay at home, plain Jane colors. So to see that logo colorized like that is definitely a little bit odd. I would say, I'd say no for this one. Next, the Dolphins colorized with the Bills colors. I don't know if any other color system works on their helmet, but like it, the thing about this one though, I do like it. Like it looks good. The sun is colorized in red. I mean, the sun is red and yellow and orange and all those beautiful colors. So that works. The dolphin is blue. Uh, dolphins are kind of gray, but they come, you know, they live in blue water. So, you know, you could make this work if you tried really hard, but I think the dolphins colors are better. Next is, okay, my Vikings. I, I knew it was gonna be the Packers. I said that at the beginning of the video, strange. 
very, very strange. Biasly, as a Vikings fan, I, I gotta say no to this one. The Vikings with their beautiful uh, colors here, just um, it, they can't be undone by any other color scheme. So sorry, Packers fans who love the colors, but they ain't working on my Vikings helmet, that's for sure. Next, the Patriots recolorized with the Jets. Uh, this one is also odd for me because the Patriots ha have such an iconic uh, color scheme. This is... This is just off. This one just doesn't work for me at all. Don't don't like this one. Next, the Saints. Uh, recolors and Falcons. Well, you know what? This just slightly works for me. And I have kind of two reasons as to why. So on the Saints logo, is it's a variation of the fleur-de-lis, which you can find in two other places in sports. One is the St. Louis Blues. They get some of the influence in their jerseys, but also in the back of the neck because the St. Louis uh, City flag has the Florida Lee in it. That's also a red flag, if I'm not mistaken, or there's red in it at least. And the other one is the uh, Quebec Nordiques, which are a former NHL team, and they used this, uh, they lose, used a Florida Lee in their jersey, not as their primary logo, but as a secondary logo. And also, Quebec is in Montreal. Montreal Canadians wear red, so Montreal doesn't use the Florida Lee, but still there's there's influence here to make the red work for me with the Fleur de Lis. Kind of what I'm getting at. So Saints fans, I think this one works, but uh, you let me know in the comments. Do you disagree? <laughs> Next, we got the Giants with the Eagles colors. Th I'm totally fine with this one, actually. A um, lot of a lot, lot of Eagles fans might be upset. A lot of Giants fans will be upset with this one, but I I think this one works very very good. Next, the Jets with the Patriots colors. I'm kind of okay with this one too. I think that looks really good actually. Fighter pilot helmets, most of them are black or gray. So I'm thinking jets, I'm thinking fighter helmets, uh, the gray, I'm fine with this. I'm totally fine with this. Next, the Eagles, nope. <laughs> just immediate nope. It just doesn't work. I really love Eagles branding and this just, like I get the whole Eagle America USA thing and it like, it does work, but just it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. All right, next up, we got the Steelers with the Ravens colors. Oh, to see the Pittsburgh Steelers in purple is just the strangest thing ever. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. I'm just going to leave it at that. It just doesn't work. Next, the Seahawks recolorizing 49ers colors. I actually don't mind this one at all. I think the Seahawks colors are better, but I don't, uh, I don't think that this is a mistake, actually. I kind of... I kind of like this one. Moving on to the next one, which is the 49ers with Seahawks colors. Uh, immediate no from this one. It's just, this one's very strange for me. I can't even imagine the 49ers using this these colors. It just, this feels so awkward and so wrong. Next is the Buccaneers. Oh, okay. Now the Buccaneers have some of the best branding in any professional sports. I absolutely love their logo. I love the way that their jerseys look. Everything they do is just, they can't screw it up. It's just perfect. But I have to admit, to see the Panthers colors on here is just amazing. Like, that looks so good. This might be my favorite one so far, actually. I might be influenced because the logo just in general is just amazing. But recolorized like that, it just, that completely works for me. It's Like I said, it's hard to screw up the Buccaneers uh, branding, regardless of color, apparently. Next is the Titans with the Colts colors. That's not that far off. I'm gonna give this one a bit of a win because I think this uh, overall, it's not that, that, that much different. So uh, yeah, we'll say that this one is, is pretty good. The next one is the Commanders. Uh, wow. I don't, I don't think I even have an opinion about this one just because it's just not the same. It's just not the same since the whole change in general. So I don't, I don't have much of an opinion on this one. I don't think, let me go back through and actually pick my favorite. Uh, give me a minute. All right, so going through these, I think I think the Jets one is is very nice. That's probably my second favorite, just because it's very simplistic and it, I think it completely works. But I gotta go with, yeah, I gotta go with the Buccaneers. I just I just have to because it looks so great in these colors. Um, I really like their what they originally do or I currently do not originally what they currently do. But I also really like this influence as well from the Panthers. So, uh, Tech Matt, very interesting series that you've given us here uh, for me to review and for obviously if there were the viewers at home to leave their opinions down below in the comment section i hope you guys have a couple of minutes because i would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section your favorites your least favorites if you want to go through and rate them all out of 10 uh, let me know which ones were the weirdest and just don't work at all would love to know your thoughts thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll catch you guys tomorrow in i think two videos coming tomorrow so if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button we're talking more sports 
tomorrow. I'll see you then. Adios.